研究所にみんな元気にしとったかのうん初めて来た子もいるようじゃなゲームを始める前に前作のお話をしておくかの事件の発端はわしの発明したピークポイントヘルメット通称ピポヘルという頭の良くなるヘルメットをモンキーパークにいるスペクターというボスザルがかぶってしまったことから始まるのじゃが知恵のついたサルたちはスペクターの先導でモンキーパークを脱走しよったその後サルたちはこの研究所を襲い開発中のタイムマシンを奪って。過去の世界にタイムスリップしていってしまったっちゃそしてスペクターはとんでもないことを始めおったとにかく俺はこれからあらゆる時代に仲間や俺の作ったモンスターを送り込み人間が支配してきた地球の歴史を全部書き換えるそして世界を征服するんだしかし一緒に巻き込まれてタイムスリップしていたカケルくんの活躍で大騒ぎになる前にスペクターたちを全員捕まえることができたこうしてサルたちはモンキーパークに戻り事なきを得たというわけじゃそして今回モンキーパークがリニューアルで一時閉鎖されることになっての少しの間この研究所でサルたちを預かることになったのじゃ。もう少しで到着すると思うんじゃがえどうやってたくさんの猿の面倒を見るかって実は改良型のピポヘルをみんなに内緒で発明しておいたから大丈夫じゃよおお到着したようじゃではみんなまた後での。Hello everyone, this is Neuronium. Welcome to my newest playthrough of Pipposaru 2001. Pipposaru 2001 was created and developed by Sony Computer Entertainment Japan Studios. Published in 2001, near the launch, I believe, of the actual PlayStation 2 in Japan. This game is actually the first sequel to the PlayStation 1 hit, Ape Escape, which released in 1999. And it never left Japan. It also shares similarities to another console that launched in 2001's launch game that also used a vacuum. You know exactly what I'm talking about. But 
what is my history with Pippo 2001? Honestly, I barely acquired this game maybe eight or not. No, actually, it's been longer since I think it's been a year and a half since I bought this game. It, it, it feels like it's been a lot less time. Uh, Pippo 2001 is basically a game that we're just about to see in the demo right now. That your goal is to catch monkey pants and put them in a washing machine with a vacuum cleaner. And as you can see, all you have to do is sneak up on the monkeys and absorb their pants. Now the monkeys will try to fight and get their pants back. And you have a limited amount of health, so keep that in mind. And you are timed on these ones, so it's it's basically one of those little, I guess you could say party games. But it's definitely a different one. Uh, in this case, we shall be playing the B-Man Rules U21 English patch of Pippo Saru 2001, which was released last year in March of 2022. Otherwise, I would have had to do all of the translation myself again, just like how I did for Curious Big Mission, and that takes a while because I don't know how many cutscenes are in this game. Uh, so that actually goes into my history with Pippo Saru 2001. I've never actually played through this game. I knew it existed all the way back in the day of when I first started getting imports for PS2 games when Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix had come out and I had gotten Ape Escape Million Monkeys, but I just never bothered with getting this game until later on because it's very inconsequential. The only thing you need to know is uh, it explains exactly why all we had all the pants for Monkey Park going into Ape Escape 2, and that's about it. That being said, how will we be doing this game? I'd say a simple playthrough because I don't know what 100% entails. I honestly don't. I've, I've never even seen a playthrough of this one. This is not the only game on this channel. Actually, a lot of the games on this channel we're doing right now I've never played before. Um... Now, I tried getting this to work on my regular PS2. And OPL is being kind of picky. And then I tried getting it to work on my... Slim PS2 that has swap magic and everything, and eh, that's being picky too. So, in the end, I decided to opt for the emulation version on PCSX2 using my copy that I patched, so there is that. But anyway everyone, I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Neuronium, and I welcome you all to Piposaru 2001. This is gonna be an interesting one. And still not the strangest Hyperscape game we're gonna be playing inside of the next couple of months to be quite certain. But until then, I'll see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out another Ape Escape game that was exclusive to Japan, check out the top link for a playthrough of Ape Escape Curious Big Mission. And for more Ape Escape goodness, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of Ape Escape 2 for the PlayStation 2.